Well, hello and welcome back to this channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. Take a look around. Uh, we've put up a number of videos uh, that are both easy uh, to make and uh, easy to find uh, materials for. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make this little um, 12 scale can of uh, McDonald's coffee. Uh, if you look before, um, a couple of years ago when I traveled to the Azores, which is where I am right now, uh, we traveled with some uh, McDonald's coffee in the bags and I made a video of that. And I thought that this was kind of fun that I'm back again and uh, why not start off by doing the canned coffee. Uh, it is one of our favorite ones, but to be honest with you, this time we didn't travel with the coffee because we had so much else that we needed to bring down. Um, I will be making this um, pattern available um, both in PDF and if you have a cutter, uh, I will uh, provide you or I hope to provide you with an SVG file for your uh, cutter, for your Cricut. Um, all going well, I should have that up for you as well. Anyway, let's uh, get going. All right, so let's go over some of the tools we'll need. Some glue, in this case, it's um, wood slash paper glue. This is my favorite glue that I um, use interchangeably. It's wood glue. Uh, you've seen this before in my other videos. And this is in a little dispenser, which my friend um, Elizabeth gave me. And I think I have one or two of these in my stash. Never thought of using it. I thought it would plug up. Ever since she gave it to me, I've been using it faithfully. And it's really good because it's super sharp. And if you keep the, the little tip um, clean, you can use a needle to, to clean it. And you keep it um, plugged up like that, it's great always ready to use. A printed label, McAfee, and it underneath it also has the circles for the lid. You can barely see it because I printed the lights light so I don't have to, first of all, waste black. Secondly, um, if I go outside of the lines or inside of the lines, it won't show as badly. But here it is what the circles look like when I print it in blue. And you'll need some aluminum foil and this is a little bit of the label from the McAfee can that um, that I had originally which is where I took the template from and a piece of strip which is going to be for your lid. You also need a AA battery. I think we all have one or two of these hanging around. Uh, that is the basis or the size for the container. That is what you're going to wrap your paper onto, as well as clear uh, packing tape. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is cut out our template for the box, our pattern. And I have to apologize for my cutting board. It is actually a kitchen cutting board. I do not have all my supplies here. I am back traveling to my homeland where I was born in the Azores and I am just going to make do with what I have. At the very end, um, when you wrap this around the battery, you're going to get a white edge. And to avoid that, this is why I have the marker. I go along on the entire edge of the paper so that when you wrap it around, you don't see that it is, in fact, um, paper. Do that. It doesn't have to be great, just as long as you cover the edge. So there, give it a, a good swoosh around something circular like your, like the, the uh, Sharpie, because this will give the paper a bit of a memory so that it will uh, go around nicely. Okay, so now we're ready to wrap it onto the AA battery. And we'll take the outside so you can do a little test run if you want. Okay, so we'll unwrap it. 
So you make sure that this is on the top. So unwrap it and go to the beginning. Add some glue to the, to the start so that it can adhere to itself. Line it up nicely because the wrapping is really important for the outcome. Okay, and now that you've got it started, simply go along. I'm gonna use this bigger bottle. Just going to add glue. Not only is it for adhering, but it adds strength to the paper. That doesn't have to be a perfect job, just as long as there's some glue there. And we're going to just keep on rolling it and making sure that it doesn't go off. And you can sand it off afterwards or slightly cut it. But if you can do a good job to begin with, why not? Just be enough to glue itself onto the other side. And there you have it. You roll it, roll it so that it, the glue can work itself onto the paper and leave it here while we go and cut out the circles. So now we have circles to cut. Remember these, these were part of your um, print. And, and if you have a Cricut cutter and you use the PDF file that I've attached here, um, I'll try and attach a JPEG so you can just load it onto your Cricut and I'm going to try and do an SVG, but struggling a little bit with the software. Don't seem to be very bright with this SVG stuff. I'm quite new at it. Just got a Cricut and I'm going to be sharing some projects. So I have one and then I'll cut a second one. Before I go and cut a second one, I've just removed, removed the um, cylinder from the battery and you notice that there is a white edge because I wasn't very careful. So at this point I just will take the the same sharpie and color it in. Um, color in the white or use your shears and try to cut evenly across until the white line disappears it just unwound itself from inside. So basically that's it. Won't do it all here, but you can be careful. If you wait till it dries, then you'll have a nice hard surface that you can um, use emery board to making sure it's nice and even to remove the white or use it on your sanding paper like I've done before, like that, um, until you get all the white out. Once you glue the two bits together, um, you might need more if you do regular paper, but in my case, I used uh, photo stock. And if you notice that the edges aren't perfectly round, then you simply take a piece of um, sandpaper and you run it this way, all the way around on the edge. It actually adds to the thickness of the edge because it flattens out. Let me see if I can show you this. It flattens out a little bit. Here, can you see that? Yeah, it flattens it out and you go and it go around in about one eighth of an inch increments all the way around. And you'll find that your circle will, will be nice and even. Recommendation is that these circles be cut out of cardstock or photo paper, which I happen to have a lot of because one time I was printing a lot of photos. And you do two because they're going to be glued together. That's the best um, paper. For cutting the strip to do this, I tried photo paper, but it was too thick. It didn't want to wind around properly and it was a mess. So I ended up with just cutting a plain regular copy uh, or printing paper. We're going to glue both of these pieces together and a little bit of glue, pinch it together, let it dry. 
That's about the right thickness we need for the base of the can. Not so shiny part on the doll side. Um, you can just apply some glue and you're going to fold it over onto itself. So you're going to have two layers. Okay, making sure that it is enough for one of the circles. Put a little bit more onto onto the one side that has that's been doubled up. And you're going to take your circle and glue it on just so that it doesn't budge. And you're going to cut around, leaving yourself maybe an eighth of an inch all the way around. Because all you're going to do is pull it into the center. Okay, so you've got it there. And maybe a little bit of glue. I didn't do this for the other ones, but I can do this. A little bit of glue on the edge. It's not going to go anywhere, but... Okay. And you're going to slowly around little increments again. You're going to, so that it doesn't make um, very straight edges. There are ways to fix that, it's not a problem. And you're going to cover a fold. Now if you have uh, aluminum tape, you can use that. If you have uh, the markers that are, um, that uh, marks silver and are stainless steel looking. I do, I have it, but it's at the other home. And you can just paint the edge. Don't have to do this and paint the whole thing. Um, but I don't, so I'm improvising. And what I'm doing right now is going around the edge so that it makes it for a nice smooth edge where it's been crinkled up when you, uh, you can do it this way too. Almost looks like a dime. Okay. Hey, and if you have something that's, that's a disc and that's the same size, by all means, use that. There you go. And we're going to flatten it so that it's pretty flat on the inside. This is the inside bottom of the can, so it doesn't really matter. And no one's really going to display an empty can. And if you are, well, what you do is you put another disc of foil onto it and you cut it even all the way across. Not going to. So now we have that and we have your can. We have to do something to the can first. If you have Mod Podge, you can cover the exterior in Mod Podge. It needs to be shiny because the can is shiny. But I don't have Mod Podge here with me. So I'm going to take some clear tape and I'm going to, without making a mess, which I sometimes tend to, going to Put it, put it down, start at one end, and so I don't have a lot of a lot of trimming to do. I put that one end and I'm going to cover to the other side until it joins. This not only makes it stronger, but it also gives you the shine you need for the can. So there you are. Cut off the excess. Now sometimes, depending on your printer and the ink you use on your printer, Mod Podge will um, make the ink run on printed paper. But if you know it's going to be okay, give it a try. Otherwise, just like we do when we do cans, um, we cover. There you go. And I think I'm going to give it a nice roll. And then sometimes, you know, to, to make the, um, the print come up nice, you kind of burnish it a little bit. Okay, there you go. So, it's really nice and sturdy now. Nice and sturdy.
Okay, so I'm also going to be putting some glue into the bottom of the can where, like on the wall, where the, the sides meet the base and it'll dry and it will um, make sure that the bottom is adhered to the top. We're going to do the top. Now for this one, um, I don't want it to open. I'm just going to have a closed um, container like this one. It's not going to open. But if you want to open, like in this case, if you want it to open, you're going to have to do uh, the, the top a little bit different. And I'll explain to you. For this one, which is just going to be a closed container of coffee, pretend that it's there, we're going to take um, two circles. And this time, it's you're going to go just outside of the line because the lid needs to be on top, not, not exactly on the edge. So it needs to fit and hang over a little bit. So I'm going to just cut these two a little bit outside, just barely outside the line so that the line is actually part of the circle. I'll cut that and be right back. Okay, so I have now two. Going to do the same thing as we did at the bottom. They're going to be glued together, the printed part on the inside. Um, now I'm making two. And the reason is because I want to have a bit of a side for the, the edge to be glued to. If it were glued and I'm keep going off here, let's see, two are glued. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the bottom. I happen to have uh, the original packaging from the tin that we brought from Canada over here. And this was from two years ago when I originally did the McAfee bag, which if you look at the other videos, you'll see. So anyway, I've got the little bit of a strip from it and I'm going to glue onto the top. So then you have a nice exact match. You see that that's what it came from. Now, if you don't have that, you can simply color this a brown to match the container. You can, I've actually even seen them in gold, kind of a gold color, so you could do gold, but I'm just gonna do the brown. So, and I'm going to center this and push it down, make sure it's glued. Once that's done, I'm going to trim around. The difference between the lid that is just going to be stationary, it's not, not going to come off, and the lid that pops out is that, or the lid that comes on and off is that this one, can you see, has another circle on the inside. There you see that, has another circle on the inside. And that circle is smaller than the, uh, than the top circle. So that cut out two circles that are about this much, or I'd say two millimeters in from the circle for the top and um, about two, two levels so that you have a substantial um, ridge which will fit into the can. And that helps it to sit there. I will be edging this with some brown, same plasticky brown or vinyl-y brown that is from the package. But before I do, I'm just gonna make sure that I hide all of the white in case it doesn't glue exactly right on. And so that way you get a better finished product. There you go. That's that. And then we're going to glue this strip of um, this vinyl from the same material as the can. 
we're going to glue it. But before we do, the best bet is to glue the lid to the container. Okay, and I scooch it down like that. And now you're going to put some glue onto the edge. So I'm going to start at the center so that I know it will be nice in the center and then follow it through. Find if I put it upside down like this, you get it'll be glued evenly. And there we go. Skipped a little bit here. Um, forgot where I was. But anyway, here it is. Finished all four of them now. There's one. There's two. And there's three McAfee's. And this is the one with the coffee. Right, now don't forget if you want to do the lid you have to do the additional little uh, section on the inside Let's see if I can get this close up not really I'll do it this way then I'll close up afterwards for you like that and okay I'm gonna end up by saying uh, thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe um, I'm very excited about upcoming videos because I'm actually going to put some kits together, kits that I've had around, uh, some that I'm um, developing and I will be um, doing tutorials on them and then putting them up for sale when I'm back in Canada. Uh, obviously I can't do that now because I don't have the stuff with me. I just brought enough to um, create the tutorial. Hope you enjoy this. Um, hope to see you next time. Don't forget, like, subscribe, let me know. Comments are great. And um, let me know um, what you think. Ciao for now.